Okay, Reed, I'm gonna document this, all right? Should I drop to one knee? Sure. Okay, you're live. Get a point where you want it for you. Ready? This right now is going to power up in terms of pressure. That's what that sound is. You even got a clock on here. The thing even, it makes your breakfast in the morning as well. It can make your breakfast in the morning. Right now though, the uh, pressure is powering up. 3,000 pounds of pressure in the backpack. We could have it up to 4,500 pounds or so. And then when the tornado is approaching 100 yards away, we're just gonna aim at the inflow knot. Bend the knees, you gotta bend your knees. This is important right here to kind of anchor the cannon, and then you, then you let it rip. How do you launch, Curtis? <laughs> Run, give me 30 seconds. It's pretty mobile, too. Very mobile. Yeah, she's pretty light. Right, so if you can imagine the tornado coming at us 100 yards away, we'll pop up the dominator. Aim at the inflow notch. The key is to hit the inflow notch of the tornado. You aim at the inflow notch. Crank this up. It's pressurizing. Safety first. Curtis built this too. He just finished it last night at 3.38 a.m. And we're going to be testing it today. Launching this thing up to two, three miles. Supersonically. Maybe a little bit below depending on regulations. But this is the Team Dominator air cannon. It's on. Mike, you want to see the uh, control? This is the thing falling down. Yeah. Into the tube. This is the thing that's falling down. Yeah. And into it. That's fun. We'll refine that. These boys crop in later to get that out. Pack it? Yeah, we have a camera. You got the engines there? This one's good? Oh, the, on the top section. Where's the other? It goes northwest. <laughs> 